This is not a video which I was planning to make or even that I would really want to make, but sometimes when logic and facts are the most important thing to be telling you, then I think that it's important that I do make this video. Now, we're going to be talking about the DJI ban in the US. And yes, I'm not in the US. I don't want to be the person who tells you what to do or whatever when I'm not even in that country. But this is relevant because of what's happening in the country that I'm in and how much it is kind of the same, but you would never know about it. So th there is a solution to this DJI ban and we're going to be talking about that as well. However, will that happen? Well, let's get into it. Hi everyone, Stephen from The Flyby Guys, and we're talking about the DJI ban that is going on right now in the US. And I'm getting really tired with the rhetoric because, you know, let's say The Flyby Guys, we've been going now for, what, you know, over five years, and we have never once received a free drone or a trial or anything from DJI. So I'm not in a position to say that you know, this is what you should do, or this is what you should say or think because DJI are giving us stuff. DJI don't give us anything, so my view is based purely on what I see in my research and also what I know from other companies and other, other countries. Because bearing in mind, I do fly a lot in other countries, so I see things and hear things uh, and I know, uh, know, let's say, a little bit more. But let's get into what's happening in the US. So the US are wanting to ban DJI drones from like, so the police and, and other government agencies as well. Uh, and they're putting this down to security. Now, they're missing one word out there, and that is cybersecurity. That's, that's the main reason why, because they don't meet the cybersecurity needs. Now, there's other news coming out about components and, and blah, blah, blah. And I think that this is purely political. This is purely a cat and mouse game. So let's put that to the side because this is completely separate and, and, and I don't really want to get into that. But let's talk about the actual ban and what they are trying to do from a security point of view. It is cybersecurity because this is relevant in many, many other countries. And for example, the country that I'm in right now, Finland, where they have the same issue. So there are government agencies that are not allowed to use DJI drones. Now to say that they're not allowed to use DJI drones, now that's a bit of a harsh word because they put tenders out for drones, okay? And those tenders have to meet certain requirements. And one of those requirements is cybersecurity. And if those drones don't meet cybersecurity needs, then they will not be bought. Now, Let's, now there are three main agencies that are using drones and there might be more, I don't know, but let's look at the three that I do know. And that's the police, uh, and then we have the border patrol, and then we have the military. So those three entities are using drones. Only one of them are actually using DJI drones and that's the Finnish police. And the Finnish police have one of the biggest drone fleets in the world. They have drones all over the country. They have pilots that are using drones every day. We don't have helicopters here in Finland for the police. We only have the um, medical helicopters. So they, so they actually rely on drones a lot. But they're using DJI drones because they do meet their requirements. But, for example, we have the Border Patrol. Now, we have one of the most, uh, let's say... Um, let's say one of the most contentious borders in the world right now because we border with Russia. But even before uh, all the all the trouble that we're having at the moment, uh, the border police were still having certain requirements and they do not use DJI because DJI don't meet the requirements of the cybersecurity. Military is the same as well, okay? Now, does that mean that they are not using Chinese drones? Well, they are using Chinese drones, but they're not using DJI drones. So this is not about China. This is about the software. And if we look at what's happening with DJI, now this, for example, is the, is, is the DJI RC, which is running Android. It's a very closed Android. Still, you can get into this. It's very much closed, much like the iPhone is. It's, it's, it's you know, a closed I, um, you know, a closed operating system. Um, now, many of the other drone companies from China who have open source software, which allow you know, organizations to, let's say, manipulate and do certain things in order to meet with the cybersecurity needs, that's okay. 
So I think that this ban on Chinese drones is very, very overrated because let's say here we are using Chinese drones, <laughs> you know, they do, you know, and the, you know, there are Finnish companies here that are also making drones as well. They make much, much larger drones, but uh, the needs, uh, let's say the Chinese drones do meet the needs, but it's what's inside. Now, does that, no, no, what does this mean? Now, this could easily be fixed if DJI were to just open the software up and have open source, but we know that it's not going to happen. That's never going to happen. So that's why this main issue will continue. So this is not a US issue. It's only how the US are communicating this to the to to you know, everyone in the US and also the world. And it's become more political than anything else. And this is the geopolitics getting into it. So it's very easy for me to come out and say this because I'm not being told what to say or being asked or being paid or anything from DJI. So you know, I can easily say this. And talking to other companies who are working with, let's say, different entities, it's very easy for me to know. And I just wanted to share this experience with you because it's it's very important. And to just go shouting about a DGI ban is, 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 is wrong. And I do wish the US government would start to, let's say, communicate this a little bit more maturely rather than getting into a shouting match and making it look like tit for tat, because that's exactly what it is, as, as far as I can see anyway. So I hope this really helped you understand a little bit. This is not just about do you agree with the ban, blah, blah, blah. There are needs of organisations, and whether it be drones or whether it be phones or computers, many of these organisations need to go through the cybersecurity because it's a big problem at the moment. It's a really big problem. And it will, it will only get worse, especially as time goes on, and especially in this turbulent time we have in the world, it will only get worse. And cybersecurity is something that we are not talking about at the moment, and we should, we should be talking about it. But it's been masked by this US ban. Listen, thank you everyone. Uh, I hope you have a nice Christmas and a good new year. Uh, based on where we are right now, it's the 23rd of December, 2023. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to and get this out because we need to get the truth out. It's really, really important rather than the rhetoric. Okay, thank you everyone. Fly safe. <laughs>